Tony King of Yoga Six is a portrait of perseverance. She had her business just cratered by COVID, like so many other fitness studios that had to shut their doors and frankly contest, especially in California with really stringent shutdowns, quarantines. And Tony has persevered uh, and uh, with her partner uh, has made Yoga Six uh, is, uh, still standing even after uh, a year and a half of, of shutdown. As things reopen, uh, Tony and her uh, partner are in incredible uh, position to take advantage of the COVID-19 and all of us who gained weight and really need to lose it with your help. Uh, Tony, I'm so glad that you came back and finished uh, and participated in the program with us. You're such a valued member of the BizHack family. Tony King of Yoga Sex. Wow, Dan, thanks. <laughs> That's some intro. All right, let me share my screen here. All right, wonderful. So I titled this Follow the Money because the reason I did uh, BizHack is um, one of my businesses, what I'm working on for this one, uh, Yoga Six, is a franchise. So we have a franchisor. They handle all the national marketing. And then we pay a media company to do our local marketing. But um, as we work with media companies, it's interesting is what I've learned now through this uh, program is that they would throw terms at me to basically justify how much money was being spent, but not really, I wasn't getting the amount of leads that I thought I should get with pretty clear understanding that they knew I didn't know what they were talking about. So I decided I needed to know what they were talking about to find out if what they were telling me was accurate or if it was puffery to just have me keep spending more money with low results. So that's why I'm following the money. Okay, my business story, Dan gave me a great intro. Uh, my wife and I, Audrey, um, started Yoga Six. Um, we have another business, a personal training fitness business, and we knew we wanted to expand somehow, uh, but there's only so many hours for us, so we couldn't just keep taking on more clients in that business. We decided we'd open up something that would generate income without us working every hour of the day. All right, so we do this for our five kids. Um, we also have two cats, and as of two days ago, that little puppy. So just because I didn't have enough to do in my life, we brought a puppy into the house. So there we go. All right. So Yoga 6 offers a full sensory experience. You'll see we have LED lighting, a great sound system. And our motto is it's for everyone. It doesn't matter if it's your first day of yoga or you've been doing it 20 years. Uh, we don't care if you're big, small. It doesn't matter. Wherever you're at, we've got open arms for you. All right. So. My real life campaign, and by the way, thank you Tatu, because this presentation would never have gotten together and literally held my hand and walked me through step by step. So we did the target audience. I was looking for someone who was um, not only into yoga, but a lot of the things that uh, yoga people follow, like a certain lo uh, local yogi, Jason Crandall. Um, a lot of them go to Wanderlust. Um, they also like the brand Spiritual Gangster. So I use that as some of my terms. Uh, my first free irresistible offer that I was just trying to go for views, um, that was a $20 weekly pass. And that was this video over here. Um, from there, we changed the ad to actually try to garner leads. So a $10 class pass, try out the first class for $10. Um, in the Bay Area, by the way, that's a heck of a steal. Um, normal class is $35 for drop-in. Um, so the call to action was click there for the $10 class pass. Um, to be fair, I did not build the landing page. Uh, my social media company did that for me. So it's nice just to be able to email saying, get me a landing page. <laughs> um, the ad budget is I just spent $10 on each uh, ad. The first ad got me 10,294 impressions. The second ad, 2,568. Of course, it was going for leads. Uh, you can see the big variety in cost, um, 655 on the first one, 2334 on the second one. Um, the results, 460 uh, on the first ad, this, um, sorry, this is on the second ad, excuse me, conversion rate, 14%, uh, cost per result, 5 cents. That was actually just on the, sorry, dial it back. That was the first ad. So the first ad actually got some people looking at it. 
that was wonderful. We suspect that we got some boost in some of our other ads we were running at the same time. The second ad did not convert well. I haven't gotten any sales out of it directly, um, but you know we're in for the long haul, which is we keep throwing information out there on multiple channels. And so even though someone may click on one channel, who knows when they first saw you. So I'm still really happy with going through this um, uh, process to learn this is where my money is going and this is how this works, okay? My biggest learning was the ands. That kind of blew my mind is that I don't just put in an ad for people who like yoga. I put in an ad for someone who likes yoga and lattes or spiritual gangster and whole foods. Um, you know, I've known about the Boolean method for decades, but had no idea that it applied here. I don't know why. So the social media sales funnel I thought um, was brilliant. Another interesting thing, I've been in sales forever in a day and used to the sales funnel, but for some odd reason, never correlated that with social media, just saying, this is how many sales, how do I get back up to what do I do with my, my social media money to create that to happen? So that working backwards has already proven effective. I had a call with my marketing um, team three days ago, four days ago, something like that. And... They were trying to do that whole, well, the cost is high right now because of this, this, and this. And I was able to have a very distinct conversation to let them know, BS, this is what I want to see. Get back to me and tell me how we're going to achieve that. So that was why I took this course. And that was really wonderful. Um, and oddly enough, they've now decided to revamp the campaign. So, <laughs> all right. So again, that was my objectives. I'm moving forward to playing with some of my own ads. Uh, I've actually enjoyed trying to come up with that creativity and just see how they run. And I think that's always going to be this sideline marker to always keep me on track of, okay, this is how mine is doing. How is the one that I'm paying for a lot of money doing? And let's compare. Is, if mine's neck and neck, we have a problem. Mine should not be doing as well as the one I'm paying for. So I don't mind if it does, but I expect that what I pay, they should do even better than I'm doing. So thank you. That is my presentation.